Today we're going to go over AMC's A-list. I'm going to try to go over how to use it, um, at least on the computer. There's an app that also works. I'll see if I do a separate video for that. But uh, I'm going to show you how it works, the ins and outs of it, what it is, why it's beneficial to you, why it's beneficial to even the movie theaters, the studios, and why more people should have it, honestly. Um, yeah, let's get started. So, this is my actual account, I think. No, okay, this is not my account. So, this is AMC Theaters, right? So, AMC is one of the biggest uh, theater chains in America. I'm in America. And um, I think also we have Regal and uh, like Alamo. There's other ones, Alamo Draft House. There, there's different ones, but the biggest one I think is AMC Theaters. And uh, right now, well, not right now, for like I think four years now, four or five years, they've had this program called AMC A-List, which allows you to watch three movies a week. Um, it's a, a subscription service like, you know, Netflix or a Disney Plus or what have you or HBO Max or Apple TV. It's basically you pay a subscription a month and you get to watch three movies a week at your leisure whenever you want. So I'm going to go over the ins and outs of that. But it's really beneficial um, to everyone. So first, let me start off by explaining how it's beneficial to the movie theater itself and the studios. So. Uh, AMC's and most movie theaters, they make their money when you go to the theater and you buy, you know, food and drinks, right? That's why the popcorn and the hot dogs and the pizza is like super overpriced, like way, way overpriced. So you pay for a $30 pizza and it's like, you know, not that big and it's for yourself or whatever. And you pay for like a $20 popcorn or whatever and like a $15 drink. That's how they make their money. Uh, AMC, the theater chains, anyway. So, uh, the tickets themselves, the movie tickets, they usually don't make the bulk of the money on the movie tickets. So, for example, if I were to buy uh, a ticket for Barbie, right? Let's say I'm, I'm going to go buy a ticket for Barbie. I would, uh, let's say the ticket is like, um, I don't know, 10 bucks, Like, 7 or $8 of that, like the majority of the money goes to the studios. All right? The, the studios, the producers, the people that made the movie. All that stuff. It does not go to the movie theater. Like two, three dollars of that goes to the movie theater. So the, the lesser of the percentage goes to the movie theater. So they don't really care about tickets. So they just want you in the theater to buy stuff, right? And recently, and I think uh, smartly <laughs> or intelligently, they've started, or at least AMC theaters, I don't know about other theater chains, they started selling uh, their own popcorn. So you see how it says AMC's? popcorn that you can buy you can even take it home all the stuff before they used to buy popcorn from a popcorn distributor that they also had to pay and then basically whatever percentage of the money they make from selling the popcorn obviously it was a bigger percentage they were okay with so and i think they said that they're also going to try to do um uh, uh s like other snacks like chocolates and 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 drinks like they're going to have their own version like an amc's version of you know the Reese's Pieces snack or the or the, the the Milk Duds or you know what other famous movie snacks is there they have their own nachos I think as well so basically they're gonna have their own version of the snacks so that they don't have to rely on that percentage of basically buying it from a distributor buying it from Hershey's or from you know the Coca-Cola you know whatever so they'll have their own thing um, but basically that's how they make most of their money so, why is it beneficial to them to give you a subscription service where you can go to the movie theater three times a week? Because the more you go, the more likely you are to pass by the concession and buy a popcorn or buy a drink or buy gum or literally anything that will make them money. Um, so, that's beneficial to them. So, they don't care about, like I said, the, the little percentage of the tickets that they're losing by allowing you to watch three movies a week for the price of basically one ticket, right? And it's also the AMC A-list membership is one per person it's not like you could take a whole family so they already got let's say right now it used to be 20 bucks the amc a list now it's 25 dollars. but let me go to the a list before i even start really talking about it so uh they have different um they have different uh rewards programs i'll say so amc stubs which is like the basic one i believe it's free amc insider might also be free i'm not sure 
And then AMC Premier, I think you might have to pay for it. I don't really know about these three things because I, I had AMC Stubbs back when it was only AMC Stubbs. Like, they didn't have any other thing. They only had AMC Stubbs. So, um, I think it was AMC Stubbs and AMC Premier back then. And I think Premier is the one you paid for and Stubbs was the free one. And I only had Stubbs because I didn't really care at that point. But uh, A-List is the one that you want. So, A-List is like the top tier. Like, out of all of these, this is like the top tier. It takes... It gets all the perks of all the other ones, plus the perk of like it, like I said, like it says right here, you can watch up to three movies a week, any format. So IMAX, Dolby, which is uh, unique to AMC. There's other subscriptions for like Regal and for other uh, movie theaters that'll have like a lower price point, which will be like maybe twenty bucks a month or nineteen dollars a month, I think. But then they'll upcharge you if you go to like an IMAX or if you go to a Dolby, like if you go to a, a premium screen. They'll upcharge you the, the rest of the $4 or $5, or whatever it is. But for AMC's A-list, I guess it's already included in there. So it's $24.95 a month. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to get it yearly because I didn't know this when I started. And now it's too late for me because if you start, like, you don't, like, I mean, you, you can cancel. I can, I can cancel it and restart it, but it's just too much of a hassle. But, um, but they only allow you to, when you join, they only allow you to join monthly. Unless somebody gives it to you weekly, uh, sorry, yearly, gifts it to you, or you can gift it to yourself, which I'll show you how. So, if I wanted to join AMC Stubbs uh, A list, right? Up to three movies a week, any format you want. There are no blackout dates. You can have three viewings in one day, which I've done. You can watch movies throughout the week, which I mostly do. And if you really, really like a movie, you can watch the movie again and again, which I did for <laughs> the Spider Man uh, Into the Spider Verse. So uh, your benefits reset every Friday. This part is important. And so you can check out the latest movies every week at AMC at an AMC near you. Right. So I'm going to explain all that stuff when we go into my own account. And I'll show you what the, like, the little, the, technically the limits of this is. So if you wanted to join, right? If you're already a Stubbs member, you probably already have an email and a password. You can just log in. And then it'll just upgrade you to this service, basically, by taking whatever credit card you have or or debit card in there and then charging you the fee a month if you don't right i live in new york so for me it'll be new york but you know you guys could do it in your state uh again amc is the biggest so i'm pretty sure they have it in your state or near your state uh and i'm gonna go downtown because that's like the biggest theater that we have so it says will i use my a-list membership in other states if i put no i'm still gonna get the 24.95 a month so there are different tiers for a-list which i'm gonna explain but uh, let's put yes, just because I also, like, when I do travel, because I, I used to travel a lot for work, um, when I used to travel, like, go to another uh, state, I literally would look up the AMC that's near the airport, nearest to the airport, go to the AMC if I had time to just watch a movie real quick, and then come back. Because it's just fun to experience different movie theaters, in my opinion. So, uh, if you live in uh, anywhere that... If you don't live, sorry, if you if you don't live in California, Connecticut, Massachusetts, I believe this is, New Jersey, and New York, you can actually get the twenty two ninety five a month, right? So that's twenty three bucks for the AMC Stubbs A list, and you could see it in basically forty five states that do not include the biggest states for movies, which is California and New York, but also Connecticut and New Jersey are also pretty big, and I guess Massachusetts. So. This one is a, a cheaper, um, a cheaper uh, tier, but if you live in any of the states that aren't these, you could benefit from that actually. Unless you travel there or frequently want to go there, then you would obviously need to do the other tier or not. You're just going to pay full price for a ticket whenever you're there, which also that can happen. Now, if you live in any state that is not a, that is not excluded here. So if you any of these states, right, which I'm not going to try to pronounce all of them, but if you don't live in any of these states, then you can get this, which is the cheapest tier, which is 19.95, so 20 bucks a month. And again, you can just it's um, uh, it's cheaper than I guess whatever ticket it is for that area because this is why they do it by state. But I usually this is the one that I have because I live in New York, unfortunately. And this is the one that if you live in, you know, again, New York, California, any of the big cities or, or big states that have big movie going um, places, you're going to have the twenty four ninety five a month price. So this is, like I said, this is the only way that they allow you to pay for it is monthly. 
if you go this route, right? So you hit continue, then they'll take your information, you create your password, or if you don't have an account, you create your password, whatever. If it's already there, you don't need to do your email or password. They'll just take whatever other information you need they need from you. And then that's it, you're signed up, basically, right? So monthly, as you saw, is $24.95 a month, which if you do the math, it's about $25 a month. So I would say it's like $300 a year, right? If you do it this way, though, oh, okay, good. So if you go to more what, on the uh, AMC Theaters, the main page, you go to A-list gift memberships. Here you can gift somebody a monthly membership. So you can even technically gift yourself that membership, right? So what I would recommend is selecting the 12 month membership. As you can see, it's $285 instead of $300, which would be the price of the AMC if you pay monthly, which is what I do. You put your email address, your name and all that stuff. Uh, and then obviously where you want them to send the activation code to, you can personalize the stuff and then basically send it to yourself. And then boom, you have AMC A-list for 12 months for less than $300, which is even cheaper than the people that are like me that are paying monthly for the AMC A-list, right? So now, uh, what is the difference? So for example, if I, especially for me in New York, if I wanted to go see Let's say, uh, let's go downtown, right? So 42nd Street, biggest theater we have. Well, not the biggest. Well, yeah, it is the biggest theater we have in New York, right? And I wanted to see uh, Blue Beetle this Friday, right? Let's say advanced tickets. This Friday, August 18th, you know, Blue Beetle for 7 o'clock. That's everybody's getting out of work because it's a Friday. It's probably packed. You, you see, like, you see all these seats and stuff. So now... If I were to pick, let's say, I usually like the middle. So I, I, let's say I pick this seat, G11, right? Oh, I'm blocking this stuff. So if I pick G11 uh, and then I hit continue, this is the price for one movie ticket downtown, again, at the busiest time or whatever. So $25 basically for one person, right? Now, if I wanted to go back... Let's go back, 7 o'clock again. And I wanted to get two seats, you know? Boom. Now it's two, basically 50 bucks to watch a movie one time, one day, you know. And it's not even, this is not even a special, I don't think it's a special theater, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, sorry. This is the IMAX. So that's why it's $50. Okay, I was going to say. Okay. So let's say Dolby, right? And this is allegedly 25% off. Two o'clock, right? And again, let's do one ticket. Let's just stick to one ticket. That's 20 bucks for one ticket, one day of the week. 20 bucks. Um, what else? Let's see what else they have. Uh, laser, whatever that is, at 430. So for Dolby, it was 20 bucks. For IMAX, it was 25 bucks. For laser, it's 18 bucks. So I guess this is the cheapest one. So the cheapest uh, available movie downtown is $18. Again, for one ticket, which is insane to me. So, and again, you only get to watch the, the one time. the, yeah, And then obviously, you know, you got to buy popcorn and all the other stuff. I mean, if you don't bring your own stuff, obviously. Some people do. But let's say, you know, we're cheap. We, you know what I mean? We're, we're, we're broke. And we took the day just to watch Blue Beetle early in the morning in IMAX, 10 a.m., right? And that's, so we'll pick a seat, and then it'll be 20 bucks. This is, again, this is up to 25% off. So early in the morning, a matinee, you know, just so you could watch a movie. Uh, let's say I want to do this one we already saw, and that was 25% off, by the way, the Dolby one, so, because I think Dolby and IMAX are more or less the same price. Uh, let's say I do the laser one, which is the cheapest one, which was, I think, $18, now we're going to do it with 25% off, or sorry, 30% off. So now it's $13, which is more reasonable. But again, $13 for one ticket on a Friday uh, where you have to basically take off work just to go see this movie. Whereas if I have the A-list, which I'm going to show you now, minimize this. So same, I'm already logged in. So let's say the same thing, you know, get tickets. Uh, we're going to go to Friday. And Blue Beetle, 4 o'clock. 
Sorry, no, we didn't do four o'clock. We did what seven o'clock? Let's do. No, right. Let's start at the seven o'clock one. IMAX, and that'll be same seat F11. Look, this is one of the A-list, whatever. So I don't have to pay anything, anything if I want to go because I have a free uh, one for this weekend. But I, I mean for this week. But I'll, I'll explain. So again, I hit continue. I can pick my you know popcorn, beverage, whatever. I can do this right now. So the price of the ticket still here, right? It's twenty five bucks. But because of my AMC A list, I don't pay anything. So I'm paying nothing, zero dollars. I continue, and then I can basically, and this is where I basically purchase the ticket. But as you can see, it's going to be zero dollars, right? So I'm going to purchase it just because I can. I can cancel it. Sorry if anybody wants the, the seat F11. You're going to have to wait like 20 minutes. So I'm going to purchase it because I want to show you guys also how you can cancel a reservation and just make another reservation or whatever because I've done that too. So now I have have uh, bought, bought the ticket, right? So I have this ticket for Blue Beetle, right? Uh, at... Um, and I can text my ticket to my to my thing, and I'll have the barcode. Like, I'm good. Like, I just have to scan the barcode when I get there, and I'm good to go. So I have the ticket for Friday at 7 o'clock, IMAX, highest priced here, right? At AMC. Now, uh, how do I go back? Oh, okay, right. So now, if I go to my AMC A-list, right? This is, ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go to A-list. You will see, so after you get A-list, after you get a movie, this sometimes it's, it's glitchy, their app and their website, like, they really need somebody to, like, fix their UI, like, their, their UX, whatever, like, their interface kind of kind of sucks. But uh, basically, right here, right, is where you'll see, well, I don't know if I can show you guys the barcode, ah, whatever, I'll boot it up. So you could see it says right here, Blue Beetle, right? View Reservation. And I literally have the Blue Beetle now on Friday that I can see. So the reason it's not showing up here is because this is technically this week's movies. So I already saw uh, Last Voyage of Demeter last Friday, right? So you have till the following Friday to for this to like refresh. So for example, if I were to watch a movie on Saturday, right? So I saw Last Voyage of Demeter on, on Friday. If I Saturday I saw Oppenheimer and then today I went to go see Barbie, this would all be filled. And so I could still reserve or my, my um, the Blue Beetle, but it would be for the Friday. I wouldn't be able to do Blue Beetle, let's say, Thursday night, right? Because that would be uh, within the same Friday to Friday week, if that makes sense. So you get to see up to three movies a week, and the week that they count is Friday to Friday. So seven days from, from the last Friday to the following Friday. So, The Last Voyage of Demeter, Friday, August 11th, I can watch any movie I want, any other two movies I want, until Friday of this Friday, which would be the um, the, uh, the 18th of August, correct? So, that's basically how it works. That's the limit that I'm talking about, the limitations. But, again, to me, that's pretty good. Three movies a week. I, even if you watch two movies a month, you're still saving way more money than going to the theater and buying one ticket at you know what at least if you live in new york i don't know the prices for other theaters but if you live in new york or in new jersey they're more or less the same price so i believe it's very very beneficial to people um you can add entourage members which is basically other a-list members so like i said a-list is one per person so for example i have a-list and let's say my um my wife has a-list so if I uh, want to invite her to a movie, I just have to add her, right? I copy the URL, send it to her. I can email it to her, whatever. She adds herself. And then you can basically just, you know, all my sister's on there. So you could basically just be like, hey, come watch this movie with me. And so you can, when you're reserving the seats, you can reserve two. And then the other seat will be for the other A-list. And she just has to go through it on her own, uh, her, on their own account. So, um, basically that's how it works, right? So 
for example, I have a kid, so I would go to, when I go to the theater. If I'm going to go watch, let's say, uh, Super Mario or a Spider Man or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is out now and you should definitely check out. If I want to go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I would buy my ticket and then I'd buy the child ticket, which is way cheaper. Uh, or also, if I'm going with a friend, I would buy my ticket and then their ticket just so we can sit together and they can sell me or whatever. Or I'll pay for them. It doesn't matter. The point is, their ticket is still, uh, you know, it's still cheaper because mine is technically free. Mine is paid for already. And theirs is, you know, the actual price of the ticket. So instead of paying, let's say, $50 like we did earlier for two tickets of IMAX, you're only paying really for one ticket of IMAX. But even though you paid the twenty four ninety nine, you know, or twenty four ninety five, whatever, 25 bucks, uh for the month, you're not paying for that IMAX ticket because you could literally watch the same Blue Beatles IMAX showing every day that week and or sorry every day for three days that week and you'd be saving a lot of money anyway i don't need to explain any more about the savings i think you guys understand how it works um i would again recommend getting it there's other perks and other benefits little things like um you automatically get upgraded to drinks and popcorn to the largest so if you are gonna go get drinks and popcorn at the, at the concession stand you can get uh, the large popcorn and the large drink uh, upgrade for free. And then also you get free refills. So if you're doing a, like what I did with Oppenheimer, right, Barbenheimer, I went to go see Barbie and Oppenheimer in the same day. So what I did was literally get the large drink and popcorn, go from one movie theater and then refill when I was on my way to the other movie theater. So I didn't even spend any money the second time around. Um, so, yeah, you also get rewards for if you spend you know, on the concession stands every time you spend money to um, actually buy a ticket. So if you <clears throat> buy a child ticket or a senior ticket or no, just another regular ticket for a friend or whatever that's going with you, that counts as points. And obviously if you buy in the concession stands when you buy drinks or popcorn or whatever, that counts as points. So then you get points, which is like $5 every, I don't know how many points. It's a lot of points. though. So um, here I have already $5. So yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, 5,000. Every 5,000 points, you get $5. So I'm about to, I guess, earn again another uh, point, I guess. I can activate the reward if I want, which is basically they take $5 off of, you know, popcorn or drinks or whatever. The hell. This is also a very good incentive for the theater because it makes me want to go to the concession stand because I'm like, oh, I get $5 off a $30 popcorn or whatever. But basically, that's how they hook you. So let me show you guys how to cancel so after I've reserved this movie, right? So I reserved uh, this Blue Beetle movie, right? I can go to manage my reservation and I can cancel the whole thing, right? So there, I cancel it and submit the request, confirm request, and boom. No longer am I, you know, uh, in charge of this movie. You know what I mean? So I'm done. That movie, no longer I have to, it's not on my list, it's, uh, I don't have to, it's not on my, um, it's not on my, you know what I mean? So it's not upcoming, so it's gone. So I don't basically have to uh, do anything. If you bought a ticket, like along with your AMC, they will also refund you the money for the ticket when you cancel. So you're good. What I recommend and what is most beneficial for everyone, if you're not going to go see a movie, like let's say I, you know, missed this the Last Voyage of Demeter uh, screening let's, or movie I was going to go watch. Let's say I missed it I, or, I, or, I don't, or I, don't, I couldn't go. If I knew right before, you know, like if I knew before the time that it started, I can cancel. I can get my refund, you know, uh, whatever. If I bought a ticket with it or whatever, I get my money back. Uh, or the A-list, obviously, it, just, um, it gives you a free space for whatever other movie you want to reserve. So if you make a mistake, if you buy the wrong seat or the wrong ticket or the wrong theater, you can always just, boom, refresh, basically uh, 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 send it back and then go back in and get a new ticket and go again, you know? So you can always do it usually within 10 minutes or whatever, the seat will be available. If let's say you bought a seat and you want the seat next to it or whatever, usually you, you refresh the app or you come in and out in like 10 minutes, it'll be back up. So uh that's how you cancel the the ticket and again if you want a new ticket you can just go and get a new ticket it's very easy it's very simple 
uh, I hope this has been um, entertaining and or beneficial and informative. Uh, as I said, I hope uh, more people sign up for the AMC's A-list because, again, it's beneficial to everyone. It's beneficial to you. It's beneficial to me. It's beneficial to pretty much the movie theaters, everyone. So the more movies you guys go see, the more money uh, AMC, you know, because every ticket that you buy, even if you are technically an A-list member, AMC still has to pay that amount. You know, let's say, like I said, if the ticket's $10, they pay that 8 bucks or whatever to the studios. So they still get their money, and AMC sees you more frequently, so they also get more of your money because you're buying, you know, you know, a drink or popcorn or whatever. So, because again, the, 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 the most of their money is made from you buying stuff in their concession stands. So, I would recommend going, you know, there's the kid uh, menu or the kid pack, which is like eight bucks for like a small popcorn, small drink, and, uh, and, uh, and like a candy. So, you know, it's eight bucks. It's not that much, at least here in, in New York. I'm going to try to show you guys when I... Uh, go to the theater uh, one of these days. I'm going to show you guys uh, what other perks premieres, uh, uh, sorry, AMC A-list members have. Um, there's like a special line that you guys can go through to get like, you know, uh, you know your, your concessions first. Or, or if there's a long line, you can basically go to the premiere line and, and it's usually smaller. Um, what else? You, could, you have the free upgrades I already told you about. You also get a free popcorn, large popcorn. And I think a drink. I'm not sure about the drink. But you got a free popcorn for sure on your birthday. So every year on your birthday, if you want to go to the theater, boom, you get free popcorn that day. Uh, what else? I think you, oh, you could also use it any time in the month. So if, if, you know, if your birthday is at the end of the month or you want to go earlier in the month, I think they'll let you do it. And then also vice versa. If you go toward the end of the month, but it's in the beginning of the month, they'll still, if you haven't used it already, you can use it. I think it's free for the month. So that's about it. Let me know what you guys think down below, if this was informative, if you guys learned a lot, anything. Uh, if you guys are going to use A-List, if you're not going to use A-List, why or why not, please comment down below. This has been another useless skill.